Hello, St. James. Good to see you or to be seen again. Um, it is September. I can't believe it is September. I really thought fall would never come. And here in Arkansas, we don't usually have fall weather in September, but we're having unseasonably cool weather um, this week. And I am very grateful. I even have gone ahead and put pumpkins out, which I usually don't do because I don't like to get ahead of myself. And, um, you know, it's, it's like I get a little too excited and then it's still hot and then I get depressed and it's this whole thing. But this year I was like, I'm going to have faith and fall will come and I'm going to put pumpkins out. So I've got my pumpkins out and I'm getting ready for all the great things that are going to happen this autumn, including coming to see you guys in October for your parish retreat. And I cannot wait to be together. Um, I know a lot has happened in the world since the last time. I sent a message to you guys or talked to y'all and it can be a little overwhelming. In fact, I kind of had a little mini, I don't know what to do in the face of everything that's going on in our world right now um, and all the devastation and all the hurt and all the confusion that is just happening right now. And I was on Twitter, which is always a, a <laughs> A tenuous thing to be doing, you know, I get a lot of great information and encouragement from Twitter, but I can also kind of go down a rabbit hole of the world, the sky is falling, the world is ending, and, um, but Father Marcus uh, Halley had this great quote on there where he talked about how when the macro is overwhelming, you have to go micro, and he had gone out to dinner with some parishioners and um, had just had a wonderful evening um, eating salad and breaking bread with them and really remembering that the micro is how we respond as Christians when the macro is so overwhelming. And what that just means is, is that when the world seems to be falling apart on these huge, huge scales and, and the problems look so insurmountable that we come to the table we come to the table of Christ. We come to each other's tables. We come around picnic tables. We come around uh, coffee tables. We come around fast food tables if it has to be. We come around tables and we come together and we look each other in the eye and we see the goodness of God in each other and we listen to each other and we listen without ears of defensiveness but with ears of, of respect and warmth. And that can all seem really hard to do and really overwhelming at times, but it's really, really, really a lot simpler than it seems, especially when you are equipped with how to know what to say yes to, how to choose the best yes for your family and for your life. And when you have kind of that kind of clarity, when you have a, a rule of life that helps you decide between just what's good and what's best, then you know how to say yes to those micro invitations that ultimately are what change the world. So I hope that you guys will be able to join us. It's gonna be a fun weekend for all ages. I'm so looking forward to being with you. And um, we are going to get very micro together. We are going to look in each other's eyes. We are going to be a community. We are going to break bread and laugh and come around a whole host of tables together over the weekend and really dig into what it means to live and move and have our being in Christ as we learn to choose what's best over just what's good. See you guys soon.